right, here she is, former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion Misha Tate, and she told us in the fighter meeting on Thursday she has left no stone unturned in advance of this matchup here tonight. She feels like she has taken her preparation to that requisite next level. She has recommitted herself to the strength and conditioning, thought maybe her body would realize success at flyweight. That was not the case at a more comfortable 135 pounds. Less hangry during training camp. So that can allow her to be a more doting mom. But she's excited. She's been smiling all week and uh, feels DC like it might be a bad time to be fighting Misha Tate. So here she is, the best strawweight in the world, the UFC champion for a second time, I might add, Magnum Zhang Wei Li. And man, she's going to be favored against most 115 pound fighters in the world, including Thug Rose Namajunas, who beat yeah. her twice. I've got, I've got friends that text me, they go, How she ever lost? Like, yeah. how does she lose? Like, what happens when Zhang Wei Li uh, loses? I'm like, I don't know, because she possesses all the skills. She is that strong. John, I went out and said at one point she's one of the greatest athletes I've ever seen. One of? And I, I said the, okay, I said the greatest athletes of all time. And everybody kind of jumped on me. But then when you watch her and you see those athletic gifts, it's hard to question what she is, at least in the UFC strawweight division. No, I think she's, that's fair. She's a tremendous fighter. She has all the skills. And tonight she's once again in a place where she has to put that on display to get her hand raised. And her fan base has absolutely exploded in North America. A lot of these fans from around the world have traveled to see Zhang Wei Li compete here tonight. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Michelle Capetan. And now, it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, John Magnum Wiley! Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, early round action here, and let us see what Zhang Wei Li has to offer. Many believe she is the most powerful strawweight on the roster, and past opponents have certainly felt that pressure and power. We'll see if she can get the hands going early here tonight. You know, we saw this in the Jessica Andrade fight, her title winning performance, where she overwhelmed her with that shot that put her up. John Wayne is a tremendous athlete, and when she explodes into this punch, she is as good as they come. Side control. Tate's back in side control here. Oh, nice. Just over three minutes to go, round one. She is so dominant from the top position. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Beautifully timed and placed. 
kick there by Sean Whaley. That was a big check. Oh, nice. Chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, up the cover. Try to establish that jab. How good a job does she do defensively to protect that head, raise the guard? A lot of good things in there. Yep, hands up, chin down. She's got a perfect position. Oh! She's hurting bad. Jumps over on the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Oh, now she lands a shot to the leg. So we cross the 32nd mark in our opening round. Jean gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Final seconds of round one. Oh, big Superman punch there. Warm out for the end of round one. All right, take a seat. Deep breath. Slow that heart rate down. Awesome. Your striking is looking superb. Everything you're putting out there is landing. All right, let us now get you some highlights. Man, her body kicks were on point in that previous round. She got to do exactly what she wanted. She said to us on Thursday in the fighter meeting, I am going to kick her in the body until her hands start to drop. Then I'm going to go over the top. First phase of her plan is complete. Can she find the head kick to end the night? You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Well, now she's really starting to time her up. She's hurt. Oh, big left. Oh, my goodness, what a right hand. Well, they don't let you wear headgear, but she don't need it tonight. Great, beautiful job defensively. She's doing a great job with blocking the top. Nothing of any substance has landed to this point. Jean gets caught by that straight hand. Oh! Well, she continues to bide her time here on the feet. Now throws a front kick and lands. That front kick was beautiful. Gets the inside leg kick to land there. Going out of the body with that hook well done there. Oh, a huge shot by her there. Probably her best strike in the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Sean's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Great job blocking that shot. Just over two minutes now to go. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. Oh, look at that double leg takedown by her there. She's as good with that takedown attempt as any fighter, I would think, in this division. As good as anybody across any division, across any gender in mixed martial arts. It's, she's setting up an arm bar. Ooh, she's got it tight. She's got her back now. One minute to go, round two. Well, no surprise here. She backs off and welcomes her opponent back to the feet. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent 
still standing. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. The high kick is there. Final seconds. Trying to kick the leg out. Huh. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Well, at some point, she's going to have to shore things up defensively. Let us get you some replays and show you some strikes that led to all that damage. Just beautiful striking on display, but it's easy to look like this whenever your opponent just refuses to move their head. She was able to land and land at will, and now you see all that swelling on our opponent's fight. face. Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, we have arrived at our next round, a huge five minutes upon us here in terms of the career trajectory for both of these guys. And this is the moment where somebody's gonna have to bite down on the mouth. Strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase it down and get another one off to finish the fight. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. Going for the takedown, nothing doing there. Oh, right hand lands again for Jean Wei. Jean Wei starting to feel it now, man. She's starting to get off of that right hand. She's throwing it more often now because she has found that she can land it up there. Jean going for the body, miss with that kick. And that one certainly found the target. Lands another strike there. She's got it going on tonight, and the swelling on her opponent is starting to get pretty bad. Now. It's getting pretty bad. She's got to address it. She's got to change something up. Maybe shoot for a takedown. You cannot stay upright with this lady. She's too good in the stand-up. up now and lands the vicious head strike. Sean's looking for that arm triangle now. Ooh, look how tight that arm triangle is. Oh, yeah, she's got it deep. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, great work. submission work. defense as she gets out. Oh, you heard the crowd pop after that grueling ground battle. The athletes make their way back to the feet. The athletes are up, and they need to take in the admiration. The crowd is appreciating the high-level grappling exchanges that they just experienced. Final 30 seconds of this third round. All right, so she continues to attack the body to great effect. Actually, some redness now underneath the elbow of her opponent. Yes. Oh, outstanding job by her there to change levels and get this fight to the ground. What do you guys call that, an ankle pick? I mean, that's an ankle pick. And there's a lot that goes oh, into it for her to execute it in a fight. Amazing. Well, she is unrecognizable with all of that swelling. Let's see if we can isolate exactly what caused it. What happened to her face, John? She's <laughs> not the same person that we saw walk into the octagon. She has not been good defensive. She's got to change something, maybe a takedown. She's got to limit the punches landing to stop all this swelling. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mind? Oh, the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponent's hurt. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh, beautiful combination. 
Kate's thigh started to show serious signs of bruising now. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly. Oh, my God. Oh, huge shots landed on both sides. How are they still standing? Takedown defense is there. She wanted out of that clinch and able to get out. Hands higher, hands higher. Sidekick. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, so again, she targets that swelling, and that would be the way to go, right? Continue to pursue the area in which your opponent has failed to adjust. Absolutely. She's as smart as they come. You know, we always talk about her ability to beat up her opponents and find the best course of action, the best way to get a victory. She's done that tonight, recognizing early that she has stayed on course. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. Zhang's really limping heavily now. The leg kicks have started to pile up. Clearly, they're having the desired effect. Nice job by her there to block those shots. When you first go to a boxing class, the first thing they say is glue your guard to your face. Her guard's high tonight. Her guard's high, and she keeps the elbow down. She does a great job of blocking the top and down low. All right, so her hooks have certainly been the big storyline in this one, DC. Give us a prediction. You think she goes back to it here? She's absolutely going to go back to it. When I look at her fight, I think of John Lineker, where he just throws hooks to the body, hooks to the head. She does a great job of mixing up the target, and now as the fight has progressed, expect her to try to really sit down on one and end the fight. Man, that thigh is starting to show some signs of bruising. She's almost smirking about it, right? But yeah. you got to address it. You can't laugh at it now. You can't laugh at all. You've got to do a better job of addressing it and deter your opponent from going back to the well. Because otherwise, it'll just get worse and worse. Busy in the clinch. Lands that punch. Those are sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. The swelling on the fighter's eye is only getting worse. And at some point, I'm not even sure if the end swell is going to do anything. I mean, you have got to really think about fighter safety at this point in time. The eye is not shut. It is certainly moving in that direction. Well, I'm just not sure how many more strikes she can take to that swollen area as they attend to her. We'll get you some replays. Not many, J.A. She's in trouble. It's damaging. And every time another one lands on that type of swelling, it feels like a jolt of lightning through your Ready. face. She has got to move her Ready. head. She's got to be Good. proactive in her defense so she's not taking too many shots. Her best strike. You don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Able to check that kick as well. Desperation on the other. She doesn't look anything like that. Spinning back fist. Oh, man, she landed a hell of a front kick there. That's a great Muay Thai technique. When your opponent's trying to charge you, you land that kick. Goes in for the takedown now, and she gets it. Beautiful transition and adjustment by her there after she was getting worked pretty good on the feet. Under three minutes remain in round five. Wayne Lee going for the head kick here. She misses. Telegraph that shot. Well, it sounds obvious, but she clearly needs a knockout or a TKO or a submission, or she's going to be on the wrong end of the scorecard. She's got to do something. You are not going to win this fight. Let it go to the judge. Knocked out her 
opponent still stands. She's still standing. She's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing it. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike lane. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside position, and stop the fight. Nice work on the first by Sean Whaley. Oh, another one! Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Whaley. Well, if you've been watching, you know her uppercut has been absolutely on point here tonight, DC. No reason to think she won't get right back to it. No, she needs to go right back to doing it. It's working. She's very good at it. I think it's her best punch. Yeah. And it's shown it in this fight. Oh, and there's the final horn. We go to the scorecards. One of the greatest fights that we have seen all year. Well, stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. In all likelihood, we have a new UFC champion. And she got it done with her striking tonight. All hail the new queen of the UFC. She used her strike and her beautiful footwork in order to confuse the champ. The champ looked lost all night trying to chase down this beautiful challenger. No more challenger will be attached to her name. She's the new champ. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-45, 48-46, and 49-45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. Misha Cupcake Oh, you know how excited this makes me. We got a new UFC champion in the women's Bantamweight division. A lot of history in this division, and she adds to it tonight. And this is a division.